Pisces. Welcome to your reading for this week, starting the 28th of January. It's a general reading, so take everything that resonates with you and leave anything else behind. So your cards from the Teacup Tarot deck, your overall energy is card 18, the moon. This card reminds you to trust your intuition. It's very strong. It's there to help you. Go within. See how you feel about something. Trust that inner little voice and allow that to guide you. This card also says there may be more information coming to light that you are not aware of yet. And look, the moonlight, it's a full moon, and that's lighting her way on the card. This moon card brings in this new information, helping her to move forward. So new information coming in, possibly something that you didn't know before. Your help or your hurdle, the nine of wands. So stay motivated, stay persistent, stay determined. This card says keep going. Yes, you can. What do you need to focus on? Self-belief is the card, the eight of pencils. That's the message this card brings. This card has come up in a lot of the other readings as well. Now, here she has a little red balloon there full of negative thoughts. And she's just about to pop that with a pin because she's had this delivery from the self-belief company. It says, oh, yes, I can. That needs to be your mantra this week. Oh, yes, you can. Don't let your own or anybody else's negativity hold you back. How can you help yourself? High Priestess, do your homework. The High Priestess is very much a card of consideration and reflection. And if we look here, look, she's reading all these books. This card says take your time do your homework she's reading a book set called how to just wait so this is the card that just says before you move forward before you take those positive steps you need to do your homework first because this new information could well come from that the high priestess says Take your time and think it through. You've got some homework to do. You've got some research to do. Pulling it all together. When you've done that, the Emperor card says get organised. This is you stepping up into this leadership role. The Emperor has everything organised and plans in place in advance. And they share these lovely qualities with others. At a moment's notice, the emperor is ready to go because everything is prepared in advance. That's just what you need to be doing. Planning, getting organised and stepping into this leadership role. Card eight. The justice card is your outcome card. Literally do what you know is the right thing to do. Now, the justice card can also mean that... Um, Decisions could well fall in your favour. But generally, this card means when you follow the lovely qualities of honesty, integrity, fairness, kindness, allow those to lead the way. Follow your moral compass and do what you know is the right thing to do. So your tarot cards are giving you quite a lot of mindfulness homework this week. So if I just summarise those. Follow your intuition. The answers lie within and be aware that there could be new information coming to light that you need to know. Stay determined. Stay persistent and don't allow any negativity to hold you back. Know that you've got this. Know that you can do this. Do your homework. Take your time. Do the research. Read into things. 
really make sure that you fully understand all the information. And it's time to get organized, time to get your plans made and move forward with integrity, with honesty, doing what you know is the right thing to do. So we will get a little bit more clarification from the Time to Shine deck. The Four of Action is about you being appreciated for everything you do and all that you are. This is the card of receiving with grace and gratitude. It's very easy to always be the giver. It's equally important to receive. This is lovely. The Ten of Emotion card, your help, happiness, fulfillment, quality family time. It's the happy ever after card. Happy home life, happy family life, feeling, joy, happiness and fulfillment. That's absolutely beautiful. You need to focus on getting organised, getting sorted out. We've got a double message. Everything I just said connected with this Emperor card here. I could say it again. Time to show leadership qualities, get organised. And if we look carefully at this card, look. Everything is neat, tidy and very neat and tidy. Getting plans together and stepping up into that leadership role. I'll say it again, get organised, get your plans made, get ready. How can we help ourselves? The Magician card, another major arcana card. You have a, already in the reading, you have one, two, three, four, five major arcana cards. So this is a strong, <laughs> lots of very wonderful energy coming in and very strong energy. So in the How Can We Help Ourselves, we've got the Magician. Card one. Literally, this card says, you are ready. You have everything you need. You can do it. It's very straight to the point. Time for you to shine your light. Pulling it all together, we've got another major arcana card. My goodness me. Zero of Wisdom, the Dreamer card in traditional tarot. This is about taking that leap of faith. This is about walking through that door of opportunity, trying something new and going after what you would really like to do. Fantastic new beginnings here, following your dreams and enjoying those new opportunities. In your final outcome card, another major arcana card. These the angels are really emphasizing the energy of this reading. The 14 of wisdom is the temperance card. So this helping you with this move forward. This card asks you to mix ideas together. It's the card of compromise, conversation, collaboration. It's the card of mixing all different ideas together. This is what she's doing. She's mixing ideas together in the mixing bowl and the cake will be the successful result of that. Balance, compromise and mixing ideas together. So, wow, Pisces, what a reading. I'm just going to summarise it for you. New information coming to light. Trust your intuition, the answers lie within. That is the overall energy of your reading. Keep going, don't allow any negativity to hold you back. Do what you know is the right thing to do and be guided by honesty and integrity and fairness. Double message, get yourself organised, get the plans written down. Make sure all the preparations are made and you are ready. 
Think it all through, do your homework, make sure you find that piece of missing information. It's up to you to find that out. And when you find that out, it's almost like that is the catalyst for the movement forward. Because the magician says you are ready. And the dreamer says it's time for you to take that leap of faith. And that's where all this preparation will stand you in such good stead because you will be ready. So prepare, do what you know is the right thing to do, do your homework, and then the world's your oyster. So Pisces, I hope you've enjoyed the reading. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. Thank you even more for subscribing and supporting my channel. I truly do appreciate that. It makes such a difference. So take care of yourselves, have a lovely week, and I'll see you here again soon.